All right, let's pull off some details. Number one hint that I have for all summation problems. If you are trying to solve them directly, you are making your life incredibly hard. Instead, you should be trying to expand it. You should make it look familiar and approachable to you. If you're not doing that, you're making it a little bit hard. So let's start off. We had, I think it was summation of I equals zero to N of A sub I equals 36. That's right. And then summation I equals zero to N B sub I. Nope, sorry, B sub I. equals 100, we're trying to find summation from J equals zero to N of four thirds A sub J plus, note minus one third B sub J plus two. Is that right? Did I get it all? Yeah, but the, at least the way I wrote down the AJ was on the top of the fraction line. It wasn't necessary. Sure, is it gonna be the same as what I have here? Yes, because if you multiply them, you're gonna multiply that A on top of the numerator or you could separate it out. So either one of those would be fine. I think, is this one minus a third? Did I have that right or is it minus fourth? No, it's minus one third. Minus one third? One fourth, okay, so I do have that off. Oh, that didn't work. Cool. All right, that looks better. All right, very first thing, we expand it. We've got to, otherwise it's really, really, really difficult to figure out what's going on here. So we can expand this by saying, I start with zero, I plug it in, A sub zero. Then I go to the next thing in the pattern when I have I is equal to one, that'd be A sub one. I lock those in, I put addition in between it. I do this all the way until I get to N. Do we feel good with that? So it means a whole bunch of A's, different A's, but A's add up, get me 36. All right, so I've got that. Similarly, we'll do it for the other one. We'll expand it first. Is 100. What about this thing up here? Expand it, right? Let's expand it. Very first thing, we're gonna let J equals zero. And we lock it in, All right? We're just plugging in those values. Then I do it again with the next value. Lock it in, addition in between, I keep this going, right? All the way until I get to N. All right, at this point, what can we do? Not what should we do, what can we do? What looks interesting and familiar? But. Common denominators, I like common denominators. I'm gonna, that is a good exploration. You can absolutely do that. I'm gonna hold off on it just for brevity here. What's another idea, good. Try to make it something with the A's. Try to use what we have over here. Is that the idea? In order to do that, we've got to get all the A's together because this says A's together gets me 36. This says B's together gets me 100. Here I have A's separated. What can we do to make that a little easier? Well, first thing, are the parentheses serving us? They add absolutely nothing to this problem. If I remove them, I change nothing. If I want to bring all the A's together, that'd be four thirds A zero. And then I need to grab the next A, which would be four thirds A one. And then the next one, four thirds A two, et cetera, all the way down. So I'd have four thirds A one all the way on down.
All right, got that. Should we do that with the bees? Let's try it with the bees. I'm going to grab all the different bees. I've got one right here. I'll put it in. I got negative one fourth B is zero. I've got a negative one fourth B one. And I'm going to continue that going on and on and on until I get to negative one fourth B sub n. All right, now I've got A's and I've got B's. What about the twos? There's a lot of twos. How many twos? Uh, I see at least two there, a two there, a two there. How many twos? To the n power, that would be four by the time I got to the second parenthesis grouping. That'd be too many. Let's count them. All right, let's just count them. I'll start with where it says one. Because that's how I normally count. That could be a way of this is gonna be the first two. This is the zero two. I've got one, two, two, twos, three twos, four twos, five twos. How many twos? All the way to n. So n twos. Oh, but one more, right? So I have n, and then I also have this one because I count at zero. I didn't start at one, I count at zero. So I have one, two, three, four, matching up with my one, two, three, four subscripts, and then one more. So that'd be n. And another, n and another two. All right, uh, n and another two. What else can I do? I want this, this looks good. If I can get all the A's together, I can replace them. Currently I have a bunch of four thirds in the way. What can I do? Yeah, I can factor it out. What about over here? I've got a negative one fourth multiplied in for each bit so I can make the negative one fourth and I have a bunch of Bs. And I still have my two Ns? No, I have my N and one twos. I have one more than N number of twos. This now looks very much like that. This now looks very much like that. So if you divide this by three, that gets you 12 times four is 48, minus 25 plus two N plus two, I think brings you out to 25 plus two N. 